Intel Core i5-13400F is a 10-core CPU with a lower mid-range price tag. It is one of the best options for those looking for an affordable yet powerful CPU and don't care about integrated graphics. That's why we decided to do an extensive review of the best motherboards to pair with the i5-13400F and pick the best ones according to VRM design, features, and value for money. Price information and all motherboards mentioned in the video are available in the description. So let's get started. Number 3. Gigabyte B760M DS3H AX DDR4 for best budget for i5-13400F. When going with a budget CPU like the i5-13400F, it is tempting to save as much money as possible and get the cheapest option available. This is why many people on a budget opt for H610 motherboards. Almost every H610 motherboard is available between $80 and $100, and that to me is the equivalent of burning your money because you can spend a little more than that and get an excellent B660 or B760 motherboard. There are several noteworthy B-series motherboards, but to me the Gigabyte B760 760M DS3H AX DDR4 stood out above the rest and is my favorite pairing for the Intel Core i5-13400F on a budget. Let's first take a look at what Gigabyte has to offer and then move to the alternatives to see what makes this motherboard so special. Starting off with the rear I.O. as always, Gigabyte did an outstanding job. It comes with 5 USB Type-A ports, 2 USB 2.0 and 3 USB 3.2 Gen 1, 1 USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port, a PS2 port, 1 HDMI 2.0 port, 2 Display Port 1.2 port, Wi-Fi 6E, and Bluetooth 5.3. The board features the three standard audio jacks that come with every other motherboard, but it does support 7.1 surround sound. The B760M DS3H AX DDR4 comes with a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port, which is rare since budget boards usually never come with more than a 1 gigabyte port. Another feature on this board that almost every other manufacturer skips on their budget boards is that both of its M2 slots are PCIe 4.0. A delightful surprise is the inclusion of Q-Flash and CMOS clear buttons on the motherboard. I would have liked these to be included with the rear I.O. instead of the bottom of the board itself, however. Moving to the VRM, we have a 6 plus 2 plus 1 phase design. This certainly is not impressive, but anything from a Core i7-13700 and under will have no issues running at its maximum potential if you choose to upgrade the CPU later. The situation around the $100 to $150 is rather weird because there are a lot of motherboards to choose from. For only around $110, Gigabyte B760 MDS 3H AX DDR4 offers everything that a decently priced motherboard should provide. For around $100, you could also go with the MSI Pro B760MP DDR4, which is the cheapest option available that has a high quality PCB. But compared to the Gigabyte board, it is a barren. The rear I.O. on this board is poor, it does not offer Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and the VRMs do not come with any shielding. For a bit more, at around $130, ASRock B760M Pro RS stands out as a solid option. But it is a DDR5 motherboard, which will bring the cost up overall compared to the B760M DS3H AX DDR4. The ASRock b 760M Pro RSD4 supports DDR4 memory but costs around $150, making it more expensive than its DDR5 counterpart. So when it comes to value for money, the B760M DS3H AX DDR4 is still a winner. So the only motherboard that comes close to the Gigabyte B760M DS3H AX DDR4 is the ASRock B760M PG Lightning D4, but ultimately is defeated. It offers no Wi-Fi or Bluetooth out of the box and has a 1 gigabyte Ethernet port compared to the Gigabyte's 2.5 gigabytes. At the end of the day, the Gigabyte B760M DS3H AX DDR4 taunts its competition and manages to strike a perfect balance by giving us everything that we need for a bargain price. The back of the board is a connectivity party with plenty of USB ports, even a speedy USB-C, HDMI, DisplayPort, Wi-Fi 6E, and Bluetooth 5.3. It even breaks the norm with a speedy 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port, both M2 slots being PCIe 4.0, CMOS clear, and Q-Flash buttons. The board's power delivery system is beefed up for the price, meaning smooth sales for most CPU, making the B760M DS3H AX DDR4 an obvious wallet-friendly winner for budget PC builders looking for the perfect budget motherboard to pair their Intel Core i5-13400F with. Number 2. Asus Tough Gaming Z790 Plus Wi-Fi D4 Best High-End Motherboard for i5-13400F Asus Tough Gaming Z790 Plus Wi-Fi D4 is an affordable powerhouse motherboard that pairs perfectly with the Intel Core i5-13400F. This DDR4 motherboard is a PC Builder's Dream, boasting a plethora of features and a very competitive price that make it stand out in the crowd. The board offers a high-speed rear I.O. that doesn't include any outdated USB 2.0 ports, is ready for the future with all M2 slots being PCIe Gen 4 compatible, and the main GPU slot offering Gen 5 compliance. This means you're all set for the next wave of PCIe 5.0 graphics cards. Also, its industrial aesthetic is a bonus for those who prefer a darker-themed PC setup. The motherboard specifications are impressive. It supports CPU overclock,
clocking, has a 16 plus 1 VRM power phase design, and can handle up to 128GB DDR4 memory. It offers a variety of PCIe slots, including a Time 16 PCIe 5.0 slot and multiple PCIe 4.0 slots. The USB connections are plentiful, both at the rear and front, and it features a 2.5GB LAN and Wi-Fi 6 module. The Tough Gaming Z790 Plus Wi-Fi D4 stands out with its unique design that gives your system an industrial edge. It's not just about looks, though. The motherboard offers a wealth of connectivity options, particularly for a DDR4 design. The storage support is a standout feature with four 4x PCIe 4.0 slots for high-speed M.2 SSDs, providing ample space for even the most extensive game library. In conclusion, the Asus Tough Gaming Z790 Plus Wi-Fi D4 is an excellent choice for mid-range gamers seeking a Z790 to pair with the Intel Core i5-13400F that strikes a balance between performance, connectivity, aesthetics, and price. A few improvements like Wi-Fi 6E and more RGB could make it even better, but it remains a solid choice for mid-range PC builds with the 13400F. This motherboard is ideal for gamers who would prioritize performance and connectivity over aesthetics. However, it might not be the best choice for those who want a motherboard with extensive RGB lighting or the latest Wi-Fi technology. Number 1. MSI Meg B760 Tomahawk Wi-Fi DDR4 Our Top Choice I rarely come across boards that tend to be, dare I say, perfect. Of course, nothing in life is perfect, and suggesting the perfect motherboard is tricky. You need to look into too much information while keeping an eye on the cost. My definition of a perfect motherboard for a processor is that it needs to cover all the essentials, add on to them, and then have a low price to really increase its value. The MSI Meg B760 Tomahawk Wi-Fi is one hell of a motherboard and comes really close to what I would call a perfect motherboard for the i5-13400F. I knew that to choose the ideal motherboard for the Intel Core i5-13400F, I'd need to see all the options available in the $150 to $200 price range and then choose the board that provides the best value in terms of connectivity, build quality, and power delivery. There is a lot of competition in this price range. The most notable standout motherboards were the Gigabyte B760 Gaming XAX at the lower end of this range and the Gigabyte B760 Aorus Elite AX at the upper end. The advantage that the MSI Meg B760 Tomahawk Wi-Fi has over its competition is that it was initially competing in the $200 plus range and has more features to justify that premium. But where the advantage turns into an unfair advantage is when MSI decided to cut the price of this motherboard. It is now available everywhere for around $180, which pits it head-to-head -head with the Gigabyte B760 Aorus Elite AX. The Gigabyte B760 Aorus Elite AX was my first pick, but when I started to compare it to the MSI Meg B760 Tomahawk Wi-Fi, it became crystal clear which was the better motherboard. Let's start with the power delivery. MSI did not cut back and features a VRM with a 12 plus 1 plus 1 phase design rated at 75 Ampere. When you use both of its 8-pin connectors, you can essentially pair any Intel 12th or 13th generation CPU without bottlenecks. The Gigabyte B760 Aorus Elite AX offers an identical VRM configuration, but that's where the similarities stop. Moving to the rear I.O., it is simply top-notch. We get 9 USB ports, 4 2.0 Type A, 4 3.2 Gen 1 Type A, and a 3.2 Gen 2 Type C port. Unlike Gigabyte, where different models have different connectivity, this board is a full array of audio jacks powered by the Realtek ALC897 codec and Wi-Fi 6E with Bluetooth 5.3 as a standard. The cherry on top is the 2.5 gigabit Ethernet HDMI 2.1 and DisplayPort 1.4 connectors. Unfortunately, nothing is perfect, so let's now discuss some complaints I have with this board that prevent it from being perfect. I'm a fan of BIOS flash and CMOS clear buttons, and I see no reason why MSI couldn't have included them in this board. MSI could have easily added them on the board itself, if not with the rear I.O., but unfortunately, they did not. The other issue I have with this board is a little mixed. On the one hand, the primary expansion slot is running at PCIe Gen 5.0 times 16, whereas every other motherboard only features PCIe 4.0, including the Gigabyte B760 Gaming XAX. This is fantastic, but really unbalanced given that the second slot is PCIe Gen 3.1 times 4 and the third slot is PCIe Gen 4 times 1. Both of these slots are controlled through the chipset, while the first one is controlled through the CPU. This isn't a deal breaker for me, but I wish this board included the buttons and had a more balanced PCIe expansion. Then, it would have made it completely impossible for me to even consider any other board at this price range. Even with that nitpick out of the way, this is one of the best motherboards for the LGA 1700 socket. Being sub $200 gives it an unfair advantage because it is now competing with motherboards like the Gigabyte V760 Gaming XAX. Although that is also a great motherboard, it lacks features like the PCIe 5.0 slot and has a much weaker VRM. All in all, the MSI Meg B760 Tomahawk Wi-Fi will serve you well with any low-end Intel 12th or 13th generation CPU like the i5-13400F for a very long time. So what do you think? Which of these is the best motherboard for the Intel Core i5-13400F? Or do you think another motherboard is better for you? Tell us in the comments below.
one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.